thought so, but I mean, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. What I wanted to do in the roleplay thing, and we're just gonna do that now, I guess. Oh, sh nice. There's actually a reasonable <laughs> color instead of eye burning white. What do you Why is it all blurry? What are you talking about? The city? It's what is it now? It's not eye burning white. Oh, yeah, I made it like. It's the... blurry as fuck. Nah, that's is just it? you. Oh, it's just. Yeah, it's. It's I mean, louder. it is a bit blurry, but it shouldn't. No, no, like, it, it was no. Blurry. When I mean it was blurry as fuck, oh, I couldn't so tell the streets. It was browser loading. Yeah, makes sense. It is a big map after all. So wait, actually, I mean, when we left off, it is basically like, where are your tokens? Oh my god, I have so much fucking tokens here. PCs. Duran, you are at the inn. Uh, lost <laughs> up there somewhere. Oh yeah, sorry, you already put a marker there. Lost is lost. Yeah, lost is up there somewhere. It probably even a bit. Yeah, probably uh, quite a few more. Let me see what's it. We lost, lost. Yeah, actually, even uh -huh. a few more. I've set like, up a nice. A I've set up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We will say you set up a nice camp there. Oh no! You 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 say what you did actually. Go ahead. Oh yeah, it just set up a ca little campsite so uh, far away enough from the city and villages yep. to not be an issue. You know, okay. with the dinosaur running around and everything. Okay, and then what are you doing? Do you tell something or do you? I mean, I the bird saw me. The what? The bird. The bird saw it. You know, our polymorphed okay, yeah. caster. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, yeah. But, I mean, uh, as in, what did you do? Uh, uh, okay, are you just gonna stay at the camp? Yeah. Okay. Riding the dinosaur, training okay. the dinosaur. You know. <laughs> Crazy <Kelly>. montage, <laughs> funny montage. <laughs> you didn't use it now. Okay, so much about that. That's where we left off with you. Uh, then we have Duran, Lyad, and Leyland back at the guild with the well, where they started in D and D roleplay. That one of the city watch is basically asking you inkeep there. Uh, get creep, yeah, whatever. The the dwarven inkeep there about well, lost. Uh, or I, he doesn't know the name. He just asked about the 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 guy who ran in there or the beast who ran in there ran out and. I think that's a werewolf. So. I mean. You were uh, described as a werewolf once, so... Multiple times. I mean, the dwar dwarves for some reason do think that, you, that you're quite werewolf-like, apparently. Yeah, if we would continue with this uh, short conversation, I guess he would, uh, the, the city watch guy, uh, Bertrecht, I think I called him, would also... <clears throat> Would then probably be a bit confused about the werewolf at all, but would like a uh, uh, werewolf. Uh, okay, uh, have you ever seen a werewolf? And the Gekri would just answer, "No, you, uh, no, not really," and just write something down. And uh, yeah, and then he would ask uh, Gekri if they can look at his room, at the room where Lost stayed. And get creep would stop for a moment, and um, he um, he slept in the barn <laughs> because, he, because you actually did. <laughs> uh, 
uh, wait and why was his chest inside? And let's just say get creepy. Uh, the, the innkeeper is not a stupid guy. He uh, he does give like mm, safekeeping because the stable is open. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. He he basically goes a bit on, and at the end the. Um, would you just watch, uh, well, listen to the conversation? I mean, the three, uh, uh, not lost, but yeah, the other three. And yeah, at the end, the, uh, or after they look shortly in the stable and there's like nothing at all, or I don't think there would be. Maybe cat hair, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. There would probably be some hair. Anyway, but then the guy would uh, go away, and yeah, so much for that. I mean, quick question. Yeah. Would a long rest have occurred between then and now? Uh. N technically, n no. But I guess after that point, depending on what. I mean, it's unlikely that you're gonna go back, so I will say for you, yeah, go ahead and get a long rest. I don't know with Lyot, Leyland, and Duran what you're gonna do now, or like, wait, the day would be. Uh, you went there after that was in the morning. It would be afternoon, evening-ish. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, yeah. you are yeah. so you are really a long rest. You other guys, do you? I mean, Lyot. Um... Yeah, um, <laughs> I would wait. Or Lyot would wait until. my guys are wait. Or um, uh, Lyot would wait until the guards are gone, and yeah. then approach Duran. And what? Just... Oh yeah, Duran. Yeah. Yeah, or if Duran is still there. I think so about it. Ah, uh, well, wasn't I supposed to go and work? You don't no, this is yeah. basically that's basically before that. That's like the plans you made. But this is basically just after. I mean, you haven't read the TNT roleplay thing here, I guess. Uh, basically, after uh, Lyot comes back from like uh, from the gate, like he escorted, or escorted, he showed us uh, the way to the gate. Uh, yeah. Then after he came back, basically the city watch was asking around. And also asking the innkeeper for what was going on because, well, they kind of mad at the guy who destroyed city property with a giant lizard. Oh, they said it a beast riding an other bigger beast or something like that. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, you approach Duran? Yeah. And I uh, would just slap him on the shoulder and put uh, uh, and grab one of the chunks of minonium out of the uh, glove and give or give the minonium to him, whatever. Yeah, fair enough. He gives him the aura. So you have to everyone now. I mean, I guess. No. I mean, we. I guess we will call that like the end of the day, and you also can give yourself a long rest. And uh, next day, yeah, um, we have Asa with dinosaur. Uh, well, lost with a dinosaur. We have Ly. Um, Duran is. You were planning to make the guitar eggs. I will basically yeah. just say that uh, I guess that uh, Leyland will. Make, I don't know. Leyland just helps with infusing it or something, <laughs> providing magic. No, I don't know. Actually, let's just ignore that for now. That's problematic because we have like three story strengths there, and that's why I wanted to do this in role player uh, before. But eh, should be fine. We will see if you. How we get this together? I mean, lost you are as far as the way. After you set up a, a small temporary camp, what you gonna do? 
like, or, um, or let's say the other way, would you, how would you guys communicate with each other? Not. <laughs> they know where to find me, or at least uh, mm, Leyland does. I will say, yeah, I had forgot about that, that he followed you as an owl, but that's fair enough. Besides, a little camp in the middle of nowhere. How long does polymorph last? Eight. I believe. Eight hours? Yeah, one or eight. Um, according to the indie roleplay, uh, Layden is back to the inn. With yeah. the door. And yeah, I saw it actually because I didn't, I didn't think he would follow the whole way. Let me check something. Polymorph. Polymorph. It's only up to an hour. So yeah, we will say he followed also just up to the, or not even up to the gate. He stayed like, yeah. So they don't know where you are. Asa. Lost. And you have the chest with you. Yeah, because that's mine. Who could cast Skyride again? <laughs> Lost question mark. <laughs> like that's the time. <laughs> when in doubt, Skyride. I don't know even if Asa would see that. You're a bit of quite a bit away and I was saying that it is quite foggy but depends on the, the, anyway um, the, the updated roll 20 I don't like it there's big what as did they update? there's no info buttons that you need to click on the character sheet oh I actually don't have the character Ugh. sheet open <laughs> but the thing I really I'm looking forward you know those that the icons that you can put on like the side of stuff those kind of right they actually made it so uh, uh well they haven't changed it yet but it's on the currently in the test server that you can upload your own finally mm -hmm. looking forward to that anyway um Okay, um, I mean, I saw you, how should I say this? I'm bonding with Dinah. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's the end for your session now, we'll see. Like, riding, running, wrestling. Eating villagers. Eating goblin hairs because I still have those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, okay. Um, I will say for this now. Um, basically, it's kind of cold. Like, for you at least, I guess you would notice that your fur is longer than usual. You're coming from a more, yeah, warmer climate, certainly. And now it is. I mean, you did. Uh, you were, it's been a year basically since Tynok, like like you guys met each other at Tynok. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's it's actually more than a year, right? Yeah, basically you met in autumn around, and now it is basically a start of winter. So yeah, you but kind of next need to year think start about of, shelter start and of, start uh, of food winter next or, year, yeah. right? What? Yeah, yeah, it's more than a year, so it has been like a year and three months or something at this point. <laughs> I guess all of you change your age up by one. <laughs> I never thought about that, but yeah, actually. I guess except for Duran. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, 
Okay, we I shall to make it. a traditional cold house or anti cold house in a tabaxi style. One takes a horse, cuts it open, <laughs> removes the entrails, and then you have a nice warm house. No, okay. I'm, the I'm just fit. I'm just. Uh, no, not the dinosaur, I think. Uh, I, I don't think that the Bucky have that much experience with cold, but yeah. That's, uh, I think you. Uh, a bigger problem would be like, are you gonna get enough food for the, your dinosaur? But yeah, I mean, there's there's it. bandits, right? Why? Oh, no reason. Um, how would you know? We encountered some. In Kansas City? No, on the way here, right? Oh, yeah, but um, on the way here, you're funny. You. Okay. Uh, wait. God damn it. You are at Kronsky. And you see that red line? Like. Right, right. There. This. Wait, where, where did I cut that ping? Uh, oh, is it like that? Yeah, this is where the bandits were. This is where you, uh, where Gronsky is, and basically that that's where you are now, Asuka, like a bit to the left. So how <laughs> how hard is it to travel 150 miles on dinosaur back? <laughs> basically horseback. <laughs> so how long is that? Uh, is it like a square? No, what was it? Square day or something? I can't One, remember. two, three. Yeah, being something Four. like that. I guess that ah, that's only five days. A bit less, but yeah. No, it's not five. Oh, no, actually. No, it's like three, four days, I guess. But anyway, did, wait, did you actually like just want to go on a solo adventure? What? No, I was talking about <laughs> getting. I was talking about getting food for the dinosaur. You know, bandits. I mean. You could ask the dinosaur what it eats, I guess. Anyway. Um, Duran and Lion. I mean, for the sake of not completely splitting all the things up, or how should I say this? Um, I mean, the thing that original wanted to do, I think, if I remember correctly, was the gypsy troll. That's still a... Uh, a thing that you want to find out if you remember those bandits as I were just, was just talking about from Dayo Bandit Captain I guess his name was Jingo I guess the, the dwarf that you let go named Jango Jango not Jingo <laughs> um, yeah that you uh, uh, yeah spared I guess uh, well yes because of that, he, yeah, because of that, he gave you like the information about uh, how he would meet up with the contact givers, and that was going in gypsy troll and yeah, some secret message, blah blah blah. Yep. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the thing. I mean. You can either just do that together, Duran and Lyot, or we will really just say Duran is forging together with Victor guy. No, not Victor, George guy. George? George? Georgia. Georgia. Georgia guy. And Lyot on your own. I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Um, I think yeah. I, I would go on my own. Okay. Um, That's fine. And But I would take Layden is back up with me, but he's not here. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, well, do yeah. you remember what the the, the contact uh, the contract was they were given, right? Or task? Yes. Okay. Basically, I wrote it down, so I know it. Um, okay. So I go to the Tipsy Draw. Okay. Uh, um, as I said, I think 
I said back then that you didn't remember, like didn't remember like where this one would be or something because well there are like a lot of um, yeah that there, there are like um, a lot of bars or how should I say there's no inns and stuff around Tynok and you wouldn't be able to remember all apart from that like yeah so but after you ask around a bit and you know who to ask uh you find out that let's say what part of the city makes sense I, no i think it was more south anyway yeah in the southern part of the city let's just mark something let's take this one uh okay better yeah there let me get a better color whatever oh yeah fine down here the tipsy troll you find out that you yeah, uh, know it's basically uh, it's kind of near the slums and I will just say uh, how it looks uh, how it looks like when you uh, before you go in <laughs> uh, it's actually um, yeah, how should I say? it's no comparison to the inn you were staying at it is a lot more run down, looks more like uh, um, where, how should I say this, uh, like people from overseas would, uh, no, how should I say, um, seamen, no, uh, what's the right word, I guess, sailors. Would, sailors, thank you, would stay for a short amount of time, something like that, and it's more to drink than anything else, like, not the place where I guess Duran would drink a beer. <laughs> anyway, and there's not, it's not like Tipsy Troll is written or something, but there's like a wooden sign there that uh, hangs a bit uh, lopsided. And well, there's something, uh, a humanoid creature on it with two kegs in both uh, hands. If that's supposed to be a troll, then the maker has never seen a troll, but uh, yeah, you are fairly certain that's the one. I mean, what part of the day do you go there? I would wait until evening, yeah, so I would help to run during the day if he wants to do something and then go and eat. Okay. Okay, and for you, Duran. Papi, you here? I'm here. I have work okay. to do. What? In, uh, in, like in character, right? In character. I've got work oh, to do. Uh, okay, but uh, first of all, uh, I, um, I mean, I will say that now the guild is able to provide you with, like, smithing. Like, the guild has some uh how should i say this um not a rule, uh or the, the gold forge basically gold has uh like a, a free smithing room no what's it called smithing state you know? forge forge yeah forge yeah. is not whatever workshop. a forge a workshop yes exactly that's a perfect one has a has uh some workshop and yeah and provides you with a workshop where you can build. Oh, I mean, they yeah, create that. I mean, it, they would charge like a small fee because you, but whatever, it's like, I don't know, like a gold per day or something. But yeah. Uh, yeah, next part would be getting George, George over again or telling him that you got the, uh, that you are set. Be right back. Okay. So yeah, let's meet up with the the guy. Mm -hmm. I I'm sorry I'm yeah sorry. You so should I meet up with the guy? I mean, I think did you say anything on how you gonna message him or meet up with uh that? Didn't I already, like, plan how the thing was going to work? 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You did that, but I'm like, like he didn't just abandon his home. He snuck out like at night to talk with you guys, and then he went back. So he's currently there. So I guess it's likely that you thought about and you were not too drunk that you uh, like did some uh, way of like getting a message to him. I don't know. So I guess you could just send a letter again <laughs> to the guy. But I think last time you something like that was tried, I think why you... Uh... I shouldn't go there by <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you could just send him a message. Basically, something that not hasn't much meaning could be something like that. Like if you just address it to him and be like, and the message is ready, and uh, I don't know, he would probably ask his sender boy, "What is this about?" And well, I don't know, something along those lines. Fuck would I send a message? Where where's Lyad when I need her? <laughs> I mean, he's actually still around. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lyad I, I, is I, only going there in the evening. So I, I I'll, I'll ask also Lyad told. to go there for me. Because mm. otherwise I might have to punch someone again. Okay. I should go to the store and give Jojo a message. I mean how I I don't know how you're gonna you could also try to, I don't know. Uh, let's say, okay, let's make this easier so it doesn't, or unless you have a good idea, we could just say that you made a better method how to contact each other. That he, I don't know, in the evening, uh, look at the specific place when he gets like food or something and you will leave a message there or, or whatever. That will be easier, right? Okay, so I guess yeah, you basically made a, a signal or like I don't know if there's um the stone a, a stone on a stand a certain uh, on a certain place where he walks by uh, when he goes to eat with uh, out with his. Uh, dead or something, yeah. Then he would yeah. see, um, then it's like a signal for okay, everything's ready to start. Yeah, while I wait for him, I'll just start preparing the workshop. Yeah. With the work. Exactly. And George uh, would appear a bit later. Basically, he would first go to the inn where, uh, and so the innkeeper would, uh, well, would send him to where you are now so the, at the workshop. It's, yeah, it's around in the area, so maybe, I don't know, somewhere around here, I guess. And yeah, um, Giorgio is um, also, <laughs> again, with his uh, way too obvious that he's trying to be this guy is like a cloak around and obviously, yeah, but. Uh, he would look suspicious if he wasn't as, um, uh, if he would look more professional in being cloaked. <laughs> so yeah, he basically looks a bit paranoid anyway. But he also has like some tools with him as well that he would need for more, more precise work. I mean, like um, making the what's he called the strings of the guitar or the uh the, the, the things to i don't know what guitar parts are like in this case i guess they would they even call it guitar i mean we call it always x guitar but it's basically for him it's like a violin with a specific amount of strings or loot i guess more or less a six string loot but yeah and like the parts to change the whatever and yeah uh, i guess you would have a bit of a discussion <laughs> to some degree probably even an argument knowing uh your dwarven temperament as well so how to make the thing correct so it would be a bit before you guys can start but yeah yeah 
Yeah. But I, I don't know. Do you anything else? Or should I just continue? Not. Okay. Asa, are you back? Okay. Then light. We will say evening for now. Um, yeah. So I go back to the tips and draw. I mean, you go to the. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fair enough. You first looked at it and then waited until the evening and okay makes sense okay well when you were there in the i don't know morning or noon ish there wasn't much going on now it still seems there isn't much going on but there is light inside uh yeah you hear some people talking inside there aren't much of windows or something well um uh, yeah windows or something you just head inside uh yes okay. um yeah i let just want to head for okay let me just I want to see what where, where you see okay uh sm small bar um like two or three tables um uh, also um well one other door to i don't know back room or something yeah you see a barkeeper um more of a fat guy, bald, uh, uh, greasy skin. Uh, yeah. Uh, on the, apart from him, there are like uh, four, four other guests in there, um, like groups of two sitting at the tables, yeah, talking to each other, all of them having a drink in front of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, this. Do I see something that would lead to a cellar? Or is there a door behind the counter? Uh, there is one or the other. You don't need a perception for that. Uh, oh, wait, let me think. Yeah, no, there is one obvious door you can see. Uh, that yeah, okay. is on the other side, like of the opposite side of, I mean, behind the bar is, yeah, it's, yeah, I mean. It's, okay, it, it doesn't really matter well, so yeah. much. So I just go to the bar and I order a light port. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to search it up, you note it down what the thing was. Wait, actually I do, what would be the, um, the guy would be like we don't and then he looks at you and uh, and you see on his face like he remembers something and he's like um uh, uh and wait i also do the exactly the um uh where the fuck was <laughs> is it in no do i have any notes yeah uh and he's like, uh, I need to get a barrel from the cellar. Uh, sure, I help. And uh, he looks at you, uh, looks uh, to the left and to the right, and uh, um, and he's like, um, okay. Come with me, and he each went goes towards the other door, like that's like of the opposite of the entrance. Yeah, I follow um, him. Yeah, and well, through that, you it's like a small back room. There are some uh, stuff there, and there's also uh, stairs that goes downwards. And as soon as the door closes, he asks. Aren't you a little bit young to be in this kind of business? What's with children nowadays being part of uh, a part of these gangs and stuff? Even the messenger of uh, what was it? Uh, uh, even the messenger to us, um, they sent. It, uh, good damn it, how would I say this? Sorry. Um, 
even the message that they send is uh, male, uh, is more child than a man. Uh, but I never heard of, uh, seen you before. They said I, uh, the guy would like, uh, what would he, oh, um, God damn it, what was the name again? Django, right? Django and fuck my life. What's the guy? Knuckle. Okay. We would say so Django and Knuckle also rely on children now. Well, I just had to step in for someone. It's only temporary. So uh, just treat me as normal career. Right, right. So, um, so I was, I don't know much of the business, so I was also just part of the messenger. They really make sure to keep secret this time, don't they? Whatever the, they sent the messenger boy regularly to check up on here. So they, uh, uh, you can talk, yeah, you can talk to him. It will be, um, uh, you can just sit around. Uh, uh, I, will, I will even give you a drink on the house and you should come in around an hour or so. And yeah. Okay, I would. Okay, and then he... Um, Thanks, Lax. 17 months in a row. <laughs> Looks at you again and is like, well, I guess you can help with that and get a barrel. Uh, like for, like, or smaller barrel, like, yeah. Yeah, just uh, sit down on that. No, no, I mean, as in, uh, the he's really attempting should... to, like, put it back. Basically, you, uh, I imagine, like, when you're talking to each other, he was heading down the cellar. Also, what's and up with yeah, the, would be just the Christmas it's, it's not a big just one, but there would be like a few small barrels S8 around or something. Is it the end of an emote and will it get yeah. the center hat? I or... guess he actually uses that one too. I mean, he... Sorry, uh, how would I say this? He brings, uh, attempts to bring it up from the cellar. No, it doesn't yeah, I just help I him bring it up. Yeah, so you guys oh, get out in. It doesn't seem too heavy, like it's not even completely full. And he basically just puts it behind uh, the bar thingy, but yeah, it doesn't even open it. Uh, then looks at you again. What do you drink? Just water. <laughs> uh, and he's like, what? Uh, Shouldn't get Django drunk. Let you, and Jangle let you in there? Uh, God damn it. Must be really low on people these days. Yeah, I just get down and wait. Okay. Does someone remember uh, what was written on that note again? That they sent it was something about they want more gold, but oh but yeah, yeah. Still have it around. But that obviously that note never arrived, right? Yeah, it never arrived, but um, the archive ten odds. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. That's not it. Oh, not it. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was basically that yeah, they went to more. I mean, I had it there somewhere. Nope, I can't find it. Anyway, if I remember correctly, it said they wanted like, uh, was it uh, 600 gold instead of 500 gold? Damn it, why don't I have that anymore? It's not over here. 
No, no. Yeah, no. Here I have it. Sorry. It's a non. It's more actually. <laughs> it was. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I think it was that they wanted. Uh, they, like they had five thousand gold or something for they wanted that boy that described basically Leyland uh, alive and the guy who basically said uh, they have him but they won 6,000 that was like the messenger they sent back but obviously he never arrived <laughs> okay yeah, make um, someone else because I just have to think about what I want to ask. Uh, yes. Actually. Yeah, I want to do that. Asa, you back? Yeah. Okay. So, you are uh, currently just trying to write Dina, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, she ha seems to have recovered from her room uh, for, from her wounds pretty well there will be quite a few scars left from the chains but yeah even after you healed yeah uh, healed her but yeah um, I guess you are near the coast right yeah yeah mm -hmm. nice let me think, would the dinosaur be able to hunt for fish or uh, red forest animals? Hmm, hard to say. <clears throat> anyway, I guess when you try to ride on her, you notice that, well, it's... Especially after yesterday, your ass is kind of wounded. But. Like, I mean, it's not uh, nice to sit on her because, well, it scales to some degree. I mean, so after yesterday's uh, ride, yeah, you feel, uh, yeah, you feel. <laughs> So yeah, a saddle might be a great idea, but obviously you don't have one at hand. I mean, I still have my father's skin. <laughs> yeah, take me good. Um, and this is how we became chaotic evil. Hey, I became chaotic evil because I fucked Jangle's hands up. <laughs> Jangle's? Jangle was dead. Well, the bandit leader. Oh, so he is chaotic. Evil. Yeah. Because I tortured a dude. Bro. With a goblin knife. So I heard. Yes. Is PvP allowed? What do you mean? I made he, a mistake. He wants to kill me. I mean, you did let the guy go, and yeah, I think you even healed his hands to some degree, nope. didn't you? I closed no, the wound. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, did you? Okay, I can't remember exactly. I didn't fix him, I closed the wounds. I, oh no wait, I did heal. I healed it, but I didn't fix it, so his hands grew in fucked up ways. Hmm. Um, I don't know, Falfit. Is Duran more of type of paladin that kills the people who are in it's his uh, eyes evil? Okay, yeah. Sorry. Does he is he one that kills the people who are in his nah, eyes I'm evil, or is he them. one who tries to bring them back to the right way? I'm not gonna kill him. I praise the god of the god of the forge, yeah, not the god I'm... of make people good people. And also, like, he was, like, majorly involved with why uh, you are free and not in the hands of the bandits. I mean, 
Duran would never, would always probably say, oh, he would have made it out alone. Sure, eventually. Oh, I was gonna burn those fuckers down. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, obviously, you already defeated a hundred of them, and that's why the only so few were left. <laughs> <laughs> At least in Duran's mind. Maybe it was not that many, but it's still. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, yeah, about, I mean, for you, Asa, today is, uh, a less foggy, and you can see a bit further, so, um, and, and it's pretty flat, it's basically like the Netherlands <laughs> at this point here, so you, you can see quite a bit far um i'm thinking it would you be far enough away that you can't see the city anymore i guess at night you would see lights back then but at the day yeah it would be a bit too far away still but you can see in the distance like a, a small fishing village or something like that so it's yeah are you trying to keep yourself hidden or what are you actually like how are you just driving around going for the north or just going for a joyride basically hmm. good questions I mean there could be some positives in going to one of the I guess a fishing village and I guess you would also be able to see a farm in the distance <clears throat> like not next to each other but yeah within the within reach of like riding for an, I don't know an hour or something um, but yeah I mean there could be some advantages in terms in terms of food and maybe a saddle I don't know some sort of saddle and you still have to think about uh, how you're gonna communicate with the rest of them or what's going on yeah yeah basically but... think about what you yeah. want to do i can just continue with someone else for now then yeah okay we will actually go back to you duran yes you are still making the uh, guitar X. Uh -huh. At this point, it comes to actually walking with the uh, the new or you acquired the minonium that you haven't used before. I mean, also um, um, Giorgio also never used Rock Bane, but he knew of the uh, a, uh, properties that would be necessary for to, to make something like that happen so it's a bit of trial and error you want to use the magical item creation table oh in, i actually never it. Uh, i actually have planned what it does but how uh what is special about it how do they do there's it there's complications it's oh, the thing actually, that it's a thing that dragon uses the three tables where actually, you have yeah, to let, roll. Me, let me look that up for a moment center for magic item creation i think i read it before um oh i can't really find it right now the complications would be funny thing actually but damn it. I would need to search it up in center five. One of you guys could find it, that would be nice. Oh, but I for now it. hmm? it's page one hundred and twenty eight. One twenty. Mm, okay, where's my PDF version? I don't have Xenophar on me. But I think I might get it to Christmas. Yay! <laughs> um D -D. Set up a sketchy everything. What page? 
129. Well, I assume we have no resources, so what we need is the time. Yeah, but it wouldn't make it that long ago. Obviously, it's a legendary item, so 50 work weeks. <laughs> It is, let me check, I actually noted that down, didn't I? Uh, I mean, technically it's a very unique item, but yeah. Did I even write that down? It's common. No, it's... <laughs> I think it's very rare or something. Okay, 25 work weeks. Let's go. Wait, really? Yeah. Crafting rules are a joke in D&D. Yeah, no. Sorry. I mean, yeah, because it's usually just the downtime, but we can't do that. <laughs> okay, we skip one year in the future. <laughs> sure. Oh my god, yeah, that's it. Fine that's by a, me. That's, that's the training. That's, this, that's just the, also, the training Also, two work weeks. It, it's two years because it's 25 work weeks. Oh my god. Hey guys, just where are you going to do this? I said just, I said just training his dinosaur at this point. My dinosaur has Lady. now been mounted with a, with an axe. I have given it two <laughs> hand axes and it can use them. I have trained the dinosaur <laughs> in the ways of the barbarian. Yeah, fully trained the dinosaur. <laughs> yes. Some barbarian bushes. Allosaurus. <laughs> what would that? What would Lyas label to me here downtime? <laughs> Are you sure it's very rare? Mm, no. Do probably. you know the power scale of those things? Yeah, you're right. Actually, it would be more rare. Like, oh, it would be. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. Certainly. It wouldn't. Whatever, it doesn't matter to me that much. I was more thinking of... Okay, let's skip a year. Right, like a few days, yeah. What did you let's say? Let's skip a year. No, we can't do that. Right? No. Depends. Fucking year. <laughs> I, I will think about it. <laughs> For now, I was more. I mean, I guess you and Jojo become good friends. <laughs> I mean, Jojo I could just work on it on the side, and we go on adventures while I am working on it. But that wouldn't work for us. No, we just take that. Jojo with us. Slavery. Jojo, yeah. <laughs> we make sure that. No. I guess while you are discussing. On, on trying out uh, how to get uh, along with that material. Is and... it really a magical item? Yes. Because for all I know it's an instrument mixed with an axe. Yeah. There's not nothing really magical about it. Mm-hmm. Mm, the material. I guess. As a... Well, the material is. Uh, You're gonna obvious. charm your opponents when you hit it, hit them with it, Asa. And then I fuck them. <laughs> no, this this is actually not that much made. That instrument is not much made for charming. More like the opposite. Um, no, but I guess while you are discussing and yeah, getting used to the workplace and blah blah blah, that kind of stuff. Georgia would also ask you, uh, like, so have you ever made an instrument? Nope. Yeah. Well, I never really made uh, a weapon, so... Don't worry, it, it, we'll it be should. fine. Mm -hmm. But you made a lot of weapons in your time, right? You are a yeah. good watch after all. A lot of them. And After well, all, I'm the greatest forger of the gold forge. 
deception check. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, you believe that. <laughs> nah, just kidding. You don't need to. <laughs> or do you want to roll? No, uh, it's a good question. Does your character actually believe that, or yes. do you just find yourself be? Okay. I mean, I am sure there would be others of other gold force who would say the exact same about themselves. Don't worry about it. But I am sure you would be considered like one of the phrases. What's wrong, right? Uh, stop it. Oh, nothing. My, my brother just. Okay, because you guess you swear like. <laughs> what? It's like, what a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. Can he stop talking trash? Mm -hmm. And I guess Georgia would all, uh, would go again with, well, uh, I have made uh, some musical instruments, but it's unusual for to make the, much without my father. He always has the last words on the design and how they're going to look like. And to me, they all look the same. So this is going to be something very different. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. Oh, don't oh. worry. If we blow it up, you just we just get more materials and start working again. Mm. What's the worst that can happen? I I also blow can't. There are city. I, I I'm not sure how long my father will take to to, to find out. For now, I am m mostly sneaking out or making some excuses of it taking more time to get the food or something. But wow, when the walk really starts, I. I, I guess I just need to run away from home. You I, could I, just, I don't know. You just need to work on the strings and the other things, right? You, you could work on that at home, in between stuff. Yeah, yeah. Good, good point. Good point. So I also I have some tools with me just to to see what we can use with the material. But yeah, yeah. I can I can sneak them all out. You would notice. <sighs> Hmm. I'll just right. tell me what they look like and I'll make you the tools. Yeah. Well, this... <laughs> uh, oh, with the tools. And he's like, yeah, no, no, no. It's gonna be fine. I think for the strings and stuff, I, I, I can do that when he's not looking. He also... I mean, I'm often in the workshop alone and he's with the customers and the discussing stuff. We get a lot of nobles and they like to talk. So, yeah. Nobles and bards who also like to talk a lot, usually. You, your friend's a bit different, the burly one. Mm. Oh, no, he, he likes to... to talk a lot. Oh, okay. And where is he up to? I thought he might also want to. I don't know. Oh, okay. He's doing bar things. Okay. And yeah, and you just walk for a bit. And the other thing you would then also one, one thing I'm curious. What would you would you say was you? I mean, you have a lot of experience, right? I, I, it's hard to tell with dwarves, but how old are you? I heard dwarves can be like a hundred years and older. Hundred is, is years. That, is that another thing to ask? I remember oh. my hundreds. Good times. Oh, okay. Just babble around a little bit. Okay. And then he would ask, so, so what would you say is your is your masterpiece so far? What, what is your best? Oh, that I cannot tell you. Oh, is it a secret? Okay. Huh. I oh, I kind of wanted to see what a gold forge would come. I mean, you are wearing some nice armor, but I'm was thinking oh I, I I cannot show you my masterpiece it's a very strong weapon still looking for someone to wield it oh you so you didn't build it for someone so it's not for you and it's you're looking like you're looking for a buyer uh, no I'm not looking for a buyer I'm looking for someone worthy Worthy, and yourself? You you're not worthy of it. Oh, I'm I'm just a crafter. Huh. Uh, so you you need like a, a dwarven warrior for it or something like that. 
Uh, doesn't need to be a dwarf. Huh. Just needs to have character. Okay, character. So how do you judge that? Would I be wolfy? <laughs> and he's obviously joking. I I don't know. I guess I will know when I see it. Huh. Okay. Maybe that's. Maybe I'm not dwarf enough to understand that. Anyhow, you continue on your walk together. Okay. Light. A person comes into the bar. Into the tipsy troll. And, well, they don't look uh, much at the people in the room. It, he straight goes to the barkeep and he's um, like, yeah, so how's business? Do you have do you have the money together? And the boy, uh, did I say his body? I think it was more fat, did I say? Whatever. Uh, and he was like, yeah, uh, uh, we'll see. It, it's still a bit of time till the end of the month. Oh, it's still a few days till the end of the month. And the guy's like, um, someone wants to meet you. Uh, uh, and he points toward Lyot, you at the back there. I mean, you just sit at one of the tables, I guess, but... Uh, further away from the other people. I mean, in the meantime, it's... It's actually not much full, or like... Some people left, some people went there, but it's like now three people sitting around and what one table. And you at the other one. And... The guy is like, oh, thanks, goes up to you and... Just... Stops and stares at you for a moment and it's like oh, wait it looks closer at you and it's like wait Riot? is that you i'm looking Riot? at him really confused you, i you it doesn't matter if you make an intelligence check i can tell you that now you don't you don't remember that person Do I know you? And he looks at the... Wait, are you not... Uh, uh, the person... You look exactly like him, but he does have quite the ordinary face. But, but I mean, even the voice... I, I, I mean, you will remember me, right, Diego? Come on. Right, right? And he's like... Oh, um, sorry. No. Okay, yeah, yeah, then, yeah, no guy who's called, named Lyad left the city like a year ago. Yeah, you know, it's better that way. He probably shouldn't come back. Anyway, um, and he still looks at you very confused. Um, let me describe the guy. He doesn't seem to be, I mean, can't tell that perfectly, but he's probably around even your age. Um, he has a more olive uh, skin tone. I mean, not green, but that light brownish. Um, um, yeah. And... He oh. I don't know, how should I describe him more? Uh, <laughs> brownish hair, brown eyes at, at this point, so, uh, short hair, uh, his clothes do look, um, I mean, it's uh, rather dark clothes, he has some, uh, yeah, like, they are made of leather or uh, something, they look some, a bit roughed up. Like it was handed down to him from someone, but yeah. Anyway, uh, he orders uh, a strong drink from the barkeep and uh, sits down next to you, still looking up and down at you. And here you can hear him mumble like, yeah, 
I wouldn't wear that clothes. Uh, clothes like that. Uh, y yes, uh, and he tries to snap out of it, and it's like, uh, um, the message you are from. Um, what's his name? Uh, yeah, you're from. Uh, and he would say, uh, "Chang will send you, right?" Uh, that, that, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Um. Uh. Okay. Um. So, and he looks at you. Um. Well, uh, the the person you were looking for. Uh huh. We uh, we we got him. Nice. Good job. But there were a lot of complications. Well, and... yeah. How you uh, isn't that normal in our kind of business? Still, that was more dire than usual. And Django, he's angry right now, and he wants more money, and also he wants to know what the hell you're going to do with the guy. Since when does Django care about what, uh, whatever? But yeah, wanting more money sounds so just like him. God damn it, these fucking greedy dwarfs. <sighs> well, poof. I'm pretty sure my um. Uh, what did you what did you say? I'm pretty sure my guys won't be happy to hear about that. Well, I mean, happy about that they have him. I mean, I guess they kind of want him. I don't know that much about it, though. So, um, I mean... Well... Uh, where do they want to... Um, uh, like, has Jangle set a place where to meet up? Or I can um... just say it to my... Superiors and they will uh, handle it. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm. We'll go back to Jangle and talk with him, but uh, oh wait, fuck it, out of character. Please. Well, um, I think. Uh, Django mentioned that we could meet up in about two weeks because he still has two some stuff weeks? to do. Yes. Oh, or one. No, was it one week? Was it two? Whatever. No, two weeks. It was two weeks. I'm I'm new to this. I'm sorry. And he uh, looks at your class and it's like, um, okay. First, I was thinking of drinking water, but I guess it wasn't the. Uh, yeah. So yeah. You're new to this? Uh, um, Jangle sent you a message? He, yeah, the, as, as I that? said, there were a lot of casualties and I had to. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. But, but he was pretty sure that he wanted to know what's going to happen to that kid. Otherwise, he won't hand him over. So when we meet, there should be someone there who knows. Well. I didn't even know it was a kid. I have, I just knew there was a person involved and that they needed to get. I mean, yeah. Even heard some rumors that they. Uh, it's funny that they ran in complications after went through the trouble of even. I uh, heard like some rumors that they uh, that you guys even uh, bribed some guards to. Uh, uh, to let you in peace. Well, I guess that plan didn't went well. Or was it just rumors? Just rumors. Huh. Well, T City talks a lot. Well, um. Yeah, I mean. Um. Where, uh, what should I tell them how they can. Where's this. I mean, where's um, this. They just sent. 
I'm on We're call. still outside the they're still outside the city. Um All we right. can meet at the gate in two weeks and then I will lead you to them. Because they can't come in here with someone like this kid. Mm, he looks a bit at you a bit confused and it's like uh uh, all right. Uh, but how? <laughs> Wanting more money and then just two weeks. Well, guess Jangle get, is getting a bit of risky on his old days. Whatever. I I relay the message. And he looks okay. at you. He looks. Um, he downs his drink a bit more. Um, yeah, he drown, uh, downs his drink, stands up, um, does like a goodbye gesture to uh, the barkeep. Yeah, he looks a bit back at you and you see him like shake his head or something like that. Uh, yeah, then, yeah, and then walks out the door. I wait a little bit and then go back to the inn. But look, I will check regularly if I'm being followed by him or something. Mm, okay, do me a perception check. Or what would that be? Yeah, perception. You're certain you're not being followed. Well, then I go straight back to the end. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, I guess back to Asa. What are you doing? Just using some wood and shit to build a tiny hut, or like a teepee, oh, cool. or you know. Okay, do me a yeah, that's survival. Do me a nice survival. Uh, there haven't been uh, enough rules. <laughs> nah, I just, have, I just needed to check something real quick if I got any benefits or something. Mm -hmm. mm, well, you are not that much familiar with the wood they have, like in this part, and it's fucking cold here in comparison to, well, the much warmer climate of Minonia, uh, Minona, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, you managed to make something that you can, but it's like, it's still patchy, it doesn't hold off the cold by much, but yeah, it's good for stuff, basically. <laughs> it keeps the wind out. It does keep the wind out, and if it rains, it will also keep much of it out. Neat. Mm. I mean, as far as you can tell, Dinah doesn't seem too much bothered by the cold. But it, it does like to snuck up to the fire if it can. I mean, she does like to lay near the fire. I mean, after all, she also comes from a former continent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was strolling around in... Uh, she found some smaller animals, like rabbits and such. Also some. Was even able to get uh, a bird that was stuck in a fishing net. Something like that, but still... Um, yeah, she still seems kind of hungry. Well, eventually we'll get some better food. You say that to her? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. She, um, boops you with her snout. Um, thankfully, I don't know. <laughs> Playfully. 
Yeah. I mean, so far for that. Um, did you do any more? Uh, I mean, after you rode around the area for a bit, uh, as I said, there's. Um, yeah, most of it, I guess, you found like. Uh, Food and fresh water. It's not like not everything is completely like um, roaded. Like, because, yeah, you, you found some trees, but it's not much of a forest. It's more like a few tree, um, yeah, a few, not pines. Uh, but what's the opposite of pines? Like leaf trees? Yeah, you know. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. What is, oh yeah, good point. One row, you have excellent memory for maps, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's just mm -hmm. that I can find food and shit easily. That's a good, good that you showed that to me. Mm, yes, okay. Five other people. Yeah, actually, I guess you are doing pretty well in gathering food. Now that I think about it, I would say that you made some simple animal traps where you got some more, I guess. I guess you would fish, wouldn't you? Sure. You like fish after all. I, oh yeah, I don't like yeah. garlic or spice. <laughs> Did you know that dog? Nice. Um, I mean, or should I just make a... You know what? Do me an auto survival for food gathering. Uh, it gives you advantage because of one row. Nice. Okay. Actually, then, with the better food, it, it's actually not uh, that bad at all. You can get some. I've um, gathered for six people worth of food. Well, you gathered for you and the dinosaur or for food. Which include which turns out to be six people worth of food. <laughs> yeah, to <two>, you and <laughs> exactly and for the dinosaur. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, yeah, but it's not that you have much on uh, on stock at this point, and I guess the reason why she still was hungry because well you also noticed like they probably they didn't feed her much when she was in chains then so yeah after you found quite a um, bunch of food and she has actually um, eaten all of it she also seems to look more healthy now okay you still don't have a saddle, so you do feel it nowadays. <laughs> you try to, you try to heal your ass with healing wall. <laughs> or oh, what was it? No, what do you have? You have cure wounds. Blood, right? Cure wounds. You cure your ass. Hey, you're touching yourself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm turning my dad's skin into a coat, by the way, in like one okay. of those. Barbarian looking. I'm wearing the skin of my enemy, kind. Uh, or more, sp oh, yeah. more, Fletcher, more specifically, Fletcher. hey, I killed a tiger. Look at me, I'm awesome. Mm, so, more in the realms. Uh, if I think of like Game of Thrones style, where they have like those uh, like wolf skin hanging over there, like, yeah. those kind of coats. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. It's actually not, uh, how would you say this? Yeah, you do have now a coat that it basically seems like the same skin color, as, uh, not uh, the same fur color as yours. So I guess you are quite uh, trendy. <laughs> yeah, so how would Lost feel? about what all happened. You have now a lot of time, even though I mean, you do have something to do with your hands all the time, but it is also quite a bit too, uh, well, how would you lost cope with the, I mean, yes, you find 
found you, uh, a dinosaur companion in New French to some degree. I mean, in the last year, you also found more friends. One of them has uh, <laughs> has run away and is now nowhere to be found. And there's a new dwarf now. <laughs> but yeah, and but now you also learned that your father uh, has died apparently. And yeah, the way I grieved my dead father is by making his skin into my coat and covering it in the blood of my enemies. <laughs> okay. I can see why that you would want revenge for killing your father and you obviously wouldn't know if yeah, he's the only one who was killed. I mean, let's say like this basically from the Tabaxi, if you look at the world map, the Minoni uh, map. So down there. Min Minoni ne Minona Minona. 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 Okay. Yeah. Like in this red part, or I can't remember how what exactly that part. I think, yeah, this red part, I was like, okay, this is like you were more of a nomadic tribe and like along more of the coast. And it's basically like in the south there, you have a lot of desert. And this is more like Savannah where you guys lived. This is more like jungle. And there are also tabaxi. Like this is actually the one where you would mostly meet the tabaxi, and that's also where a lot of them being hunted. Uh, they are more less bulky and more agile, or how should I say this? More, more slender type, also a bit smaller. And the southern tabaxi, and yeah, like you are, are one who are living more nomadic lifestyle. <clears throat> Uh, and usually uh, poachers or like guys who actually, uh, I mean, it's not that common to see like tabaxi pelts uh, or her of, her of hunters. I mean, your parents would have told you that they have encountered like hunters and killed them, but like maybe twice in the, even in their whole lifetime. So usually uh, they don't even come that far or, but yeah. And you would have traveled along with your clan family, how should I say this? Tribe? Tribe is the better word, yeah. Yeah. And I mean those tribes are not huge. They are like consisting of like seven, eight families of the, how should I say this? Tabaxi, so each of them is like eight or nine people. Uh -huh. what would be Actually, what's reasonable? Seventy Tabaxi or so would be such a tribe who, yeah, who travels together. Sounds yeah, sounds decent. And back then, you left the tribe to explore the world, to uh, indulge more into the magic of music that you discovered for you yourself. Anyway, okay. What else? I guess in general, what else do you guys want to do? Let's just ask you like this. Well, I still, I still have the Lila poster, but I think that would be better with more people, not only. I don't know. I, no, I, I don't think so. I also, um, I forgot to mention it, but I have to go at six o'clock. So that would be a little bit too close. Yeah, don't worry about it too much though. I don't think there would be a, a it would involve. I mean, what are your plans with the poster? I mean, first of all, this is like a, a wanted poster, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could go to, uh, or I should say this. Go to the guard, or I could go to someone in the underground who finds people. Yeah, but first of all, the question is, is or oh, I don't know, 
is this like still uh where is this is it like still posted or is it like from i mean should i say this you don't didn't have you haven't seen like much like of paper like hanging on the walls or something like 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 posters or wanted posters in that terms in the city i mean paper or document is big commodity still or like yeah look a luxurious commodity i mean you know as uh yeah because you were always looking uh that you would not be one of the faces on one of those uh both, but you know, like that often your uh, city watch stations who are like or like headquarters of the city watch, but like just different where they are stationed, different where they are often like boards who where the stuff is posted, wanted posters, and on the other hand, sometimes other events. But yeah, it's like a notice or I should say that it. Can really tell what would i call that the posting board or also sometimes i guess for you uh, uh back in the days if there was like maybe an easy job posting as well uh as in how should i say this uh like some easy work as scrubbing an oven or something like those kind of uh those kind of stuff Obviously, like not legal jobs would not have been posted there. There are other places, and usually they are only spoken and not written down. Those kind of jobs, but yeah. But what you can see from the poster, you there was from the Lila person. I mean, it doesn't say Lila on it. It just is the description of the woman with a rough sketch. And uh, I don't think it even said the crime or something. They usually don't. It just says the price for, yeah. I also remember I said it doesn't say dead or alive. It's only alive. Uh, I can't remember though how much gold it was. <laughs> I think it was 200 or something. Yeah, that's okay. But... I can't remember, but I I know it, or I know why this is here. Obviously, from story context, and it wouldn't make sense that it's like a ridiculous amount. Anyway, I mean, Duran already left, <laughs> so you two guys. Yeah, I just look up if there's. I just visit like city guards around the town and look for okay. the same post if it's still current or. And I'm just living the hunter gatherer lifestyle you do. with my dinosaur. You do. Anyway, you come to one of those stations and there's the post is uh, there. Um, yeah. Um, you're looking through them, um, one of the, wait, let me think, yeah, the, the poster you have is basically also still there. Next to it hangs an auto much older, I mean, there are some of, wait, actually, would that poster even be? Yeah, actually, yeah. One of those posters that was was even there when you were still in the city. Uh, there was like a big fuss, uh, like a big talk back then when it was hanged, uh, when it was um, posted. But yeah, and now it just uh, is uh, uh, bleached out. No, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and it's of a, an older looking guy with glasses on, uh, like th that sketch, it says the name Oak on it, and it's like a ridiculous amount of money. 
I'm talking. Um, wait, I actually wrote that down. Give me a sec. It's a hundred thousand gold, Gulder, which is like more than all the other postings together. Yeah. Anyway, um, the one you had with so much, oh, uh, how should I say this? Uh, uh, is oak dead and alive or dead or alive? Mm. Alive only. Uh, yeah. no, he is dead or alive, Oak. The one that you have, the Lila one, or that one doesn't have a name? That... Uh, yeah. Uh, for her it's only alive. Um... Apart from that, you see also one that looks also a bit older. Uh, but you have certainly not seen that one when you were back in the city. And the sketch shows a young boy and with a so common face after you read the description. Well, actually, uh, what would you say with this? No, I couldn't say what crime. But it kind of looks like you. But to be fair, uh, uh, that sketch and description would fit like, yeah, probably a thousand people in the city, or uh, maybe a hundred, multiple, uh, man, no, let's say not thousands, so, well, like a hundred people in the city, so it's, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, from the description, it is like, um, uh, Younger boy, brown, uh, short hair, and uh, fair skin, that kind of type, and yeah. And the posting says dead or alive, and 200 gold. Oh, also, um, on all of those, once it posts, it also says at the bottom. Um, um, to be delivered to the Crown's uh, Keep City Watch um, uh, also rewards for um, information regarding the uh, suspect. Are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here and uh, I think I would really, I mean, I, we could sell the information that this person is called Lila, but probably best if I didn't do it, if there's a wanted poster of me. I mean, so far there hasn't been much complications. And as I said, it looks like a bit more of an older poster, but still. Yeah, and that would be a a few other ones as well. In total, there are like uh, like thirty different people on those wanted posters. But now that, yeah, uh, would um, how should I say this? Uh, yeah, that, that that peak out. I don't know what's the word. Um. Yeah, but also, like, on a secondary board, a much smaller board, that's where one of, like, news and, like, or small job offers or something is posted. Currently, a guy is just nailing a new, uh, a new paper in there, uh, on there, and you just see in the glimpse of eye because it's, like, really bold letters and a big symbol of, uh, like, a sword crossed with a, what's supposed probably to be a magic wand or something and uh, it says Oak and Beggar hosts um, what would it be um, Oak and Beggar celebrates their 10th anniversary with a great uh, God damn, what is it? Tournier? No. 
give the oh, for fuck's sake. Am I stupid? What's the word for it? I'm sorry. Tournament! I watched tournament. With a great tournament. And it says also a date and place on it. And um, and at the end, the winner gets um, uh, a rare magical sword. Well, it would say rare. No, it would probably say um, something. Or, I mean, I'm not talking in terms of like uh, meta um, terms. But it would probably say it's like a legendary magic sword or something. So I'm, and I don't mean it's like literally legendary item. That's like what it says on the poster. And when is this tournament tournament scheduled? Scheduled mm, in like a week from now. I had. Um, uh, what would that be? I will. Uh, I can remember the place, but somewhere in the, in the city of Groundskeep. And yeah. And you remember that? I mean, I don't have to say that. That oak and beggar. I did say oak and beggar, right? Yeah, yeah you said oak and beggar. Yeah, that oak and beggar was the company that also Victor was involved with. Yeah, and he's going to meet them in three days. Uh, yeah. Actually, two now. Actually, two now. Okay. Uh, the guy who... Um, who nails... Um, put on that paper, uh, yep, looks at his work and if it's like straight there, looks also to the other board with the wanted posters, goes over there and it's like, uh, oh yeah, right, and uh, actually removes the one with, um, well, the one you have, like the one there where Lila is on. Um, I tap him on the shoulder and be like, oh, did she get caught? Uh, and he looks around too, and it's like, oh, uh, I don't know. It was said it's no longer needed, but well, as far as I know, I don't think she got caught. Oh, huh. okay. <laughs> you know what? He also would say, or oh, maybe it was just, um, uh, how would you say this? Yeah, he would probably say, or oh, maybe she was just looking too close to Miss Six, uh, what would you say? to Mrs. Six Pillar or however she calls herself. Uh, and she didn't want like <laughs> people to get the wrong idea. Who's Mrs. Six Pillar? Ah, uh, it's just uh, uh, people give her super I mean uh, Miss Beggar or oh, yeah. You know, the, the one who's from one uh, one of the two who leads the uh, Oak and Beggar uh, company. I mean, I guess at this point the only one, and he nods towards uh, the uh, the poster of Oak, the, or, uh, the, the, the guy, forever. old guy with glasses on that has like hundred thousand. Then again, and this and is how I felt. Oh. They was a filter Mike and Bainark, so you know, can't really bitch uh, too much uh, about it. Well Why is she this dangerous or does she have a huh? 
What? No, no, uh, I mean, she does. That miss, mistakes oh, oh, Heath, you mean the, the, uh, you mean Oak, or do you mean her? I mean Beggar. Beggar. Oh. And he's like, what? Oh, no, I, I don't think that's her. <laughs> no way she would have allowed to uh, have a wanted poster of her. Uh, on no, there. No, no, but no, the no. person, uh, the description does kind of fit her. Okay. And uh, just walk away because I'm a little bit confused. Mm -hmm. When you walk away, you, uh, he also looks at the uh, uh, one that poses again, looks back at you, and then he shakes his head, shrugs his shoulders, and just moves on. Okay. Giving you guys a bit more questions to work with, because you didn't have enough. <laughs> no, not really. You mean giving him some questions to think about? I so yeah. not. Massively. That's fine. Just like Lost would do. That's f yeah, that's why it's fine. <laughs> you are not here. It, it's <laughs> fine. No. Well, um, one uh, question. What was the spell again where you can send a message over a longer distance? Message? message? Sending? <laughs> the message I looked up and it was just a creature within your sight. <laughs> Yeah, you're oh right. no, within range. And that's, that's 120 right. feet, so no. Yeah, but still. Sending. Okay, sending. 25, 25 word message. Third level evocation. Bard cleric wizard. Range unlimited. As long as it's on the same plane. plane and you don't roll a 1 on a d20. Okay, can I buy. A sending scroll somewhere. <laughs> scroll of sending. That's a um, uncommon magic item because it's third level. Yes, probably. I mean, <laughs> buying magic items not that easy because mostly, like, well. I'm First of all, there are not that many people who use magic. Or like magic item, especially those you can use without being too adept in magic, are uh, strongly regulated. So, like magic items selling, if you uh, okay, uh, let's say it like this: you have a black market for magic stuff, and you have like here and uh, on the island with the higher class guys. Yeah, there you would also find the on the black market, especially like stuff, uh, how would I say this, uh, even the more simple stuff, I guess sending would be reasonable to also be able to find on the black market. You could try Yeah, that. but still, if it's a when third level location, it could maybe... Yes. What, sorry? Yeah, what's the alternative? Um... You know of a hidden library, to be fair. Yeah. But the last time you were there, you almost got caught. I you got know... caught. Actually, okay. what? I you got almost... caught, but I... Okay. Oh, was it like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's something. I, I got... No, no, it's fine. Yeah. You got caught, but escaped. Actually, you can't exactly remember how you escaped. But you escaped. Um, yeah. Well, uh, last time I wasn't invisible be, when I went there. in there. Huh? Last time I wasn't invisible when I went there, so... Maybe. What, sorry? Maybe? What? Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that again. You could try it. I mean, I... there is a high chance that this is... Yeah, that, that's there, but... Well, yeah. And also, with hidden, I mean, mm -hmm. I, should say this. I mean, at least now you would know that some books that were there are books that would not even be at 
sign off because there's like well what common people would call black magic but you would know the, the yeah like necromancy stuff to some degree you never bothered with it too much because it wasn't that useful but yeah so what i'm saying is it is not just hidden from the general public like yeah Who's writing? Oh. Oh, rolling? Blackout. Like so we had a oh. blackout. Yeah. Okay. Well, you didn't miss too much. I spent my time with life. Yeah, but apart from that, I don't know. Um, I guess you can tell what you learned where, uh, next time when Leyland is also back. I mean, Archer is also back, so you can t tell Leyland and uh, Duran, or Wyatt can tell Leyland and Duran. But apart from that, I don't know. Is there anything other stuff you want to do in the city? I mean, technically we could have also in general, we'll try to go shop. No, I don't. Um, oh yeah, the library one, it's not actually in that part of the city. So that would be like, in a still older part uh, of the city, like here. And I need to mark down those points. I will do that eventually. Yeah. You basically stumbled upon the entrance back then uh, on by accident. And it's like underground of a normal house and yeah. The big problem with that is we don't have a wizard that can actually use the spells. Oh, because scrolling mean like that. Yeah, um, you would need to learn that, right? Hmm. Yeah, I, I never understood completely because basically for me it's for, for me an arcane trickster is basically just a rogue who also learns spells like a wizard. I mean, mm -hmm. quite okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, uh, we could make it that I can swap spells, whatever. But yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I think that's reasonable. Would that be overpowered? I have been with it. As, as long no, as I, wouldn't, because as the wizard long as can do we make it reasonable how you can get those spells, but yeah. Hmm. <laughs> but let's say okay now. No, no uh, it's fine. Yeah, you can. It's it's hard to get like uh, like you can. I mean, you can learn a spell from a spell scroll if I remember correctly uh, as a wizard. Yeah, yeah, I think you can. And spell scrolls can be used by like almost er everyone, right? No. Anyone that can read. No. I think there any was some Any spellcaster. Okay. Or the thief subclass for rogue. Yeah, gotcha. We say fuck spell versus fuck magic item restrictions. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. That's also a thing. But I can trick spell the ones. <clears throat> I mean, it's a spell cast, never mind. <laughs> That's one of the weird things with Rogue. Oh, you don't have the proper. Um... Well, you shouldn't be able to use that item, but you can use it anyway, right? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you. so you can either, as I said, go to that library that you went back then, but you better as being like more than a year ago, and then knew someone got into there, so you don't know if the way you were able to get in there. Let's say, what, what would be a reasonable thing? 
that we uh, like you found a way in there from underground, like from an adjacent cellar, or like even the sewer system or something like that. Hmm. Let's say adjacent cellar. That seems reasonable. So you don't know if they found how you got in there or something like that. That's one way, or the other way would be to try to ask around, maybe even like in the district that they people call the Ashen Market. As I said, it's not like a market market, it's just like this area is prone to, it's like known for selling stuff that shouldn't be allowed to be sold. <laughs> But yeah, so you could do some asking around and maybe you would be able to get one. It's up to you. We will do the next session and I guess, right? I mean, it's only five minutes. You said you needed to go at six. So yeah, this was a kind of a split session between you three. You can see why I wanted to do this in a role play, right? Hello? Yeah, Hello. yeah. Yeah, it would have made sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But oh well. I didn't dislike it. It may have been boring for some of you. I tried to switch up between you three. Uh, between you three, obviously, at the end, I did a lot more with light. But yeah. I'm still thinking, would it be reasonable with the time skipping thing? Hmm, no, not yet. If we're gonna do that... Thank you guys for showing up. If you liked, leave a follow. If you really like, consider subscribing. This is a weekly session. Something, something... Potential more streams. All the good stuff. Anyway, have a good one, people.